Disclaimer. I'm speaking for Delphi, and everything said here is from him. I only help Delphi with the text and the voice for him. All of this does not come from me, Flame Tornado, his voice actor. Hello everyone. This one comes directly from me. I'm doing this because I'm done. I'm tired of the situation as it is. I hope you watch this through and listen to everything I have to say. There are double standards amongst our community and I can't stand it. This is not a rant. This is a video full of fact. So take it seriously because this is real. You probably noticed that I haven't posted any exploits or bugs in several months now. The reason for that is very well detailed in a reddit post I made when I quit uploading this kind of videos. It was a good time in the subreddit. Many were happy that I'm done with exploits and victory finally came to all those who hated me. But here's the issue. Exploits and bugs are still being posted on the subreddit, just under a different name. Don't believe me? Here's an example. Before I show the example, I started a vote in this video. The options in it being 1. Publish exploits and bugs without waiting for the patch. 2. Publish exploits and bugs only after patch. 3. Never publish these kind of videos. In the top right corner, you can cast your vote and make your opinion stand out. In 2016, I was banned from TF2 subreddit for posting videos about exploits and bugs, arguing that I'm ruining the game and I'm breaking the rules of the subreddit. This was also when the hate for me started, the beginning of this whole mess. Fair enough, I made a post apologizing for my mistakes and stopped this type of content on October 2018. No more spreading exploits and bugs, no more ruining the game. But what do I see as soon as a new exploit or bugs discovered in the game? Of course, a post about it, on the top of the subreddit. But because it's not from me, it makes it okay. It's not like there's a rule against it. It gets upvoted, discussed, and most of all, not hated. So when I post exploits and bugs, I get hate by a large portion of the community. But when someone else does it, it's suddenly okay. What kind of double standard is this? I stopped uploading bugs and exploits because of your reasoning that if I stop, the game would be better. But if the community would only fight against my videos of bugs and exploits, I will just go back to my old style. Here's another example of this double standard. About a year ago, an Infinity HP exploit was found, and I was blamed for the chaos it caused. But all of those who called me out didn't even notice that I released the video after the patch. Another YouTuber called Stefano Nemo had a video about it before the patch and got 2 million views and zero hate. Why am I to blame for spreading the exploit when I released the video after the patch? Why did I get hate for doing nothing wrong while another YouTuber did everything you said I did wrong and didn't get called out? There's also the recent snake water bug which allowed players to get out of the map. I didn't make a video, I was waiting for the fix to come out. Players found posts and videos about it elsewhere and were able to abuse it without my video. Am I going to get blamed for that too? Same with the flamethrower bug last year which allowed it to fire across the map. The hate I'm getting is just an excuse to hate on me, a reason to unite against an enemy. Between 2012 and 2016 I had little to no hate. Like to dislike ratio was good and everything was fine. And at that time I made almost exclusively exploit bugs related content. Where were all of you before 2016? I think I know why. The Doomsday video was released in 2016 about me supposedly causing the game to die. Which it's not, by the way. Propaganda was made against me and it suddenly made everyone realize that I was in the wrong when in truth no one really cared until they saw a chance to go and hate on someone. Is drama really that fun? YouTubers exploiting this drama for views and clicks like King Raja and Medi Excalibur 2012. Here's another example of the double standard. Take a look at the videos related to exploits and bugs in CSGO and Dota. The like to dislike ratio is a negative image of my ratio. No haters, no reddit posts claiming they will all bring about the doomsday of the game. How does this make any sense? Even this CSGO video about leaving the map, no hate. Why am I special? I'm not the sole reason bugs and exploits are easily spread. I'm not the only one who does this. Not that I'm trying to blame anyone else, but you can't say I'm the only one doing so. I might not be helping the game by showing how to do the exploits or bugs easily, but it's definitely making Valve work faster. If only two people abuse whatever's the problem at that time, Valve won't find it critical to fix, as opposed to having hundreds use it. It's not like they're working on any new games that we want. It's not like they're adding new content to TF2 that's worthwhile. Might as well give them a reason to work. For those who claim I never tried only reporting and waiting for the fix, I'll leave a link to an experiment I did. I sent a report and waited for a fix for three months. Nothing came. 
full story is in the description. If you haven't clicked off by now, you're at least giving me a chance to give my side in this and I respect that. Here's another example. In my previous video explaining Sin's story, I mentioned the catalyst to his demise. This one joke, a stupid comment he made that was flamed and used against him so much, the haters never even bothered to notice it was a joke. Sin's life changed because the flock of hate got to him, because blind hate and easy drama was thrown on him. Stupidly done. Lastly, I'd like to give you a different way to see exploits and bugs. You see, these sometimes game-breaking issues, they're like a special event in the game. Something rare that will only be available for a limited time. Something new in this game we've been grinding for so many years. Like a massive Yeti army or a spawn room full of lasers, even dancing turrets. Look at it, it's amazing. No one is losing money or fame by experiencing these exploits. New players can definitely see that something's not right and look it up easily. If you fear that this affects new players, it probably won't. Not all new players are little kids pressing random buttons. I'm sure common sense kicks in when they see something odd. Besides, it's not like there's a rule anywhere in the game that prohibits the use of bugs or exploits. Valve themselves made. I'm just showing them these non-standard features in the game, giving them motivation to get it fixed. To finish, understand this. I'm not obliged to anyone. You may hate me, you may shit talk and spread all the propaganda you want, but I have a fan base that likes my content and I owe them alone my best quality content. Whether it be exploits, bugs, lists or funny moments, I will do it for those who want it and like it. If you don't like it, unsub and find someone else as loyal as me to TF2. That's all. Thanks for listening. I appreciate the fact that you've come up to the ending of the video. Comment down below what you think. I want to know what your thoughts are. Don't forget to vote. Top right corner is waiting for you if you haven't voted. And that's it. Thanks, and see you in the next time. I'm going to go to the next one.